Uh, hello everyone, my name is Ajay. So in this video, I'm going to explain you how you can merge two sorted arrays into a single array in a sorted order. So here, if you can see, I'm having two arrays. Uh, this array is having uh, items one, three, five, and this array is having two, four, six, seven, eight. So these both are in sorted order. So I have to actually insert them. I have to actually merge those two arrays into a single array in a sorted order. So let's see how we can do that one. Uh, we can actually perform this. In, uh, the brute force solution for this would be uh, first you can add all the elements from this array into this array and next you can add all the elements from this array to this array and finally you can sort this uh, resulted array that way you can get the output that way you can merge two arrays into the single array but the uh, time complexity would be uh, n log n for in that scenario so let's see how we can actually do this in linear time that is big O of n. So for performing it in big O of n, let's see the solution. So for that I want to take three pointers i, j and k. So i is pointing to this array, j is pointing to this second array and k is pointing to the third array. Okay. So let's, let me write i, j. So initially i is at 0 and j is at 0, okay, so i is at 0 and j is at 0. So now I have to compare these two elements, 1 with 2. So when I compare 1 is less than 2, so I have to add the element which is less. So 1 is less than 2, so I will add the element 1 to the new array. So I added the element from this array, so I have to implement i, okay. So after incrementing i, i will become 1 and j is still 0. Now i is at 1 and j is at 0. So I will compare 3 with 2. So 2 is less than 3, so I will add 2 here. So now I added the element from this array, so I will just increment j this place. So now i is still 1 and j will become 1. Okay. So then you have to increment the pointer from which array you are adding. So if I add the element from this array, then I have to increment i. If I add an element from this array, I have to increment j. Okay, you will be incrementing k for each operation. I will show that in the code. So for now, uh, i is at 1 and j is at 1. Okay, so i is at 1, we have 3, and j is at 1, we have 4. So 3 is less than 4, so we'll add 3. So we added the element from this, so we'll increment i. Okay, now i will become 2 after incrementing and j is still 1. Okay, so now i is at 2 and j is at 1, so 5 with 4. So 4 is less than 5, so we'll add 4. So we are adding element from this array, so we'll increment j. Okay. So now i is 2 and j will become 2. Okay. So now i is at 2, where we have 5. j is at 2, where we have 6. So 5 is less than 6, so we'll add 5. Okay. So we added the element from this array, so I'll increment i. Plus plus. So that will be, i will become 3 and j is still 2. So now, if you can see, i is 3 and the length of this array is 3. So when i and the length of the array are same, that means we added all the elements from that array. So we added 1, 3 and 5, 1, 3 and 5 into the new array. So there are no more elements left in array 1. So the only elements left are in array 2 which are 6, 7, 8. So in that scenario, no need of checking the condition anymore. You can directly add all the elements of this array from this pointer j equal to 2 so let's do that one. so now j is at 2 so we'll add element 6 and we'll increment j plus plus so no need of us to check any conditions now we can directly add all the elements after from 2 so we did j plus plus now i is 3 and j will become 3 uh, now at 3 you are having 7 so we'll add 7 and again i'll do j plus plus so i is still 3 j will become 4 at 4 we are adding 8, so I will add 8. So now I will do j plus plus. So now I will I, I is 3 and j will become 5. Now here if you can see uh, i is 3 which is equal to length of array 1, j is 5 which is equal to length of array 2. That means we are done adding all the elements in the new array in a sorted order. So that's the logic here. So that way you can add all the elements from two arrays into a single array in a sorted order. So let's see how we can implement this. So here if you can see I have written the prototype of the function. Uh, it will take two 
input of it will take two arrays and it will return a array of integers so let me so i need three pointers i j and k so let me declare three pointers int i equal to zero int j equal to zero int k equal to zero okay and i need a temporary array for uh, merging all the elements so for that i declare a temporary array So I'll just name it as t equal to new in so the size of this temporary array would be the size of this array space this array that is nothing but a1 array a1 dot length plus a2 dot length so a1 dot length plus a2 dot So I got the temporary array as well. Now I have to start performing these operations. So for that I will actually use while loop. So while while i is less than this array length. I is less than a1. So i is pointing to a1, j is pointing to a2, and k is pointing to temporary array. So while i is less than a1 dot length and and j is less than a2 dot length hmm? i have to start performing this so i have to check which element is less so for that i will if condition if a1 of i is less than a2 of j then so if a1 of i is less than a2 of j that means i have to add the element from this array so that is nothing but a1 of i to the temporary array so that would be so for temporary array i am using k pointer which is starting from 0 it is equal to a1 of i so as i added the element from this array from a1 so i will increment i plus plus and for each of i will also increment k plus plus for temporary array and I'll close it here okay and next it comes I will write the else block so if it is not less than if a1 of i is not less than a2 of j that means a2 of j is less than a1 of i a1 of i in that scenario I'll add the element from a2 to temporary array why because in else block that in else block it comes to the else block when a2 of j is less than a1 of i okay and i added the element from a2 so i will increment j plus plus and k plus plus okay so this is the while block while loop instead of doing k plus plus in two conditions i will directly do here so in each loop we are actually implementing k for temporary array so this is the while loop uh, for this operations so here if you see i'm having condition i less than a1 dot length and j less than a2 dot length but when i comes here when it is 3 it doesn't match the condition so 3 is not less than 3 so it will come out of the while loop so when it comes out of the while loop in that scenario i have to still add the elements from 2 or from 2 to the end of the second array so let's see how we can do that one in that scenario so when when uh, it comes out of this loop and if we still have elements left in any of the array then we can actually do one more while loop and we can add all the elements in the temporary for that so when y uh, i is equal to equal to a1 dot length and and j is less than a2 dot length in that scenario i will add items from second array that is nothing but a2 of j okay and i will increment j pointer 
also k pointer okay so here if you see when i equal to equal to 3 and j is still less than the length of that array it will come and it will add all the remaining elements elements so that can happen using this while loop and also uh, this while loop works when there are elements left in the second array when there are elements left in array 2 there may be a scenario where there can be elements left in array 1 as well right so to avoid those to uh, to add all the elements in that scenario so i want to use another uh, another while loop so for that it is just the vice versa of this so that is nothing but when j equal to equal to a2 dot length and then a is less than a1 dot length i want to add the elements to temporary array from first array that is nothing but a1 of a and I want to increment I pointer and also K pointer. Okay, and I will close the while loop. Okay, and finally I will return return temporary. So this is the code friends so if this code is not clear don't worry i'll actually post this code in the description of this video so let, let so this is the code so let us see the time complexity of this code so here if you see i'm having total eight elements so three plus five so the total elements of these two are three plus five that is equal to eight so for eight elements we are performing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We are performing 8 operations. So that is nothing but n operations. So that is nothing but time complexity would be big O of n. Okay. And if you see, uh, coming to the space complexity. So for performing this, we are actually using a temporary array. Which is having length of n. So the space complexity would be big O of n. So we are using uh, n space so that is about merging two sorted arrays into a single array in a sorted order and also you know friends uh, we actually use this function in merge sort algorithm as well so actually i've created that video also so if you want to watch that video if you want to learn about merge sort algorithm you can get that video from the link of this uh, from the description of this video i'll post that link in the description of this video uh, which will explain which where i will be explaining about merge sort algorithm so if you know this function you can use this function in merge sort algorithm so uh, that is about it and if you have any questions please post them in the comment section uh, thank you for watching my video thank you